Congratulations to the class of Medical Graduates 2020. It is a terrific achievement and you should be so proud as we are of you. And congratulations to your family and partners who have supported you throughout. To the parents, I know you are immensely proud of your sons and daughters, as I am of my two daughters who also graduated in medicine. To our staff, this is a special time for you also. You have worked closely with the graduates to bring them to this point. And a big thank you to the University Hospital Limerick and to all our partner hospitals and community health services. I'm glad to have the opportunity to celebrate with you today a wonderful achievement in graduating from the University of Limerick Medical School. I grew up in the locality, uh, didn't have the opportunity because there was no medical school there, so your graduation is not only a testament to the work you've put in, supported by your families, but also the, the vision and the work of the university authorities and leaders over a number of years, uh, and your deans and everybody else in the medical school to put you in the position to be able to graduate from a fine university and to have this achievement as one to which you can be uh, enormously proud. Uh, the environment in which you're moving into now in healthcare is going to be hugely challenged by the coronavirus uh, epidemic that we face. It will create a significant reality for us which is very different to what any of us experienced who are in the position you're in today graduating. But that's something that is, that's a challenge that I know you'll rise to. Uh, today is a day of wonderful achievement. You're coming into a wonderful profession. Your choice of career will be enormous uh, in the future. Uh, some of you might even do public health. And if you are inspired to do public health, get in touch. Well done, have a great day. These are extraordinary times, and so here we are conferring your degree upon you in absentia. As this global disease has reached us, we must do the one thing that prevents this disease spreading, stay apart. Normally this hall would be full with the students and families seated in the stalls. However, we're in a different time and we must adapt. We have faced epidemics before and we have prevailed. Each time solutions have been found and we'll find them again. As we've seen, public health measures have slowed the disease, but they won't stop it. To do that, we need a drug or a vaccine. And that starts in the laboratory. Some of you may well work in the laboratory alongside your clinical practice, as I did. It will take time to find a solution. The first steps in this work have been completed, and some of it here at the University of Limerick. But back to now, to today, celebrate. Take the time today to reflect on the journey and how far you have come. Celebrate with your family and friends, but virtually. In a few short weeks, you will be in the hospitals and clinics here and abroad. You've been asked to start early, but don't worry. You know that your education and training at the University of Limerick have prepared you for the challenge. It will seem daunting, but you will work with experienced nurses and doctors as part of a team. They will guide you and support you. Some of you will be assigned to teams looking after COVID-19 patients in our hospitals and here or overseas or to a field hospital like the one that's been developed on the campus of the University of Limerick. Everything you have heard is correct. This is a dangerous virus. I won't sugarcoat this. You're the vanguard in the fight against a deadly disease. Your colleagues and you may contract the disease. We have learned a lot in the last few months to help you. Listen to your colleagues on the front line and you will prevail. You're entering a unique, exciting and demanding career, an exhilarating profession but one that every day exposes you to life's tragedies. I can give you lots of advice, but I want you to remember, the patient is the one with the disease. It's not often that you can cure them. More often, you can only relieve symptoms, but always you can give comfort by showing compassion. And remember, you will work with other professionals, listen to them. But as a doctor, you will have to make your own decisions. You're asking for advice, not permission. And one last point, you are now members of the UL alumni family. You will find in time that the success of the University of Limerick is important to you, as your success is to us. Be involved, join the alumni, and help make UL the great university it can be. So congratulations again to all our graduates, to the families, and to the staff. When this is over, come back, and we will celebrate this extraordinary graduation properly here at the University Concert Hall in the University of Limerick.